What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. And it has been a little bit while since I've been on, but check some of this stuff out. We are definitely above the waterline, and we're just looking at these off in the distance. These basically, we're looking at arcologies of some sort, something that was built here that took massive destruction, took a whole side of the wall off here. Um, wait till you see some of these actual stones that were cut into it and what looked like pipes and stuff coming out of it. Um, let me show you where it's from. And then I've also got my next video. Wait till you check that one out. The next one, it's going to be good. I've got a whole bunch of stuff lined up. All these up here are part of it as well. But check this out. This thing, here's how it looks directly from NASA. You can see the stone features on the top. It looks just like something you find out here in one of our uh, Pumapunku. Um... Oh, it even looks Aztec. I mean, we keep going way back. Um, that they built the same as, as people on Earth. The more and more I look at this, I think, you know, 200,000 years, um, most likely. It maybe happened long when the same cataclysms here on Earth happened. But check out some of this stuff. This is just absolutely amazing. The blocked out. And check out the obfuscation. I'm not sure why we're getting such bad... <laughs> All of a sudden, as the river gets closer, check out some of these pieces. See how much um, grain and, you know, look, that's all in the actual image itself. It's getting worse as we get closer, but let's take a look at some of these uh, curves, some of these pieces. I mean, it's pretty much beyond. Uh, they've let the cat out of the bag now. I mean, there's no, they're not much putting it back in. Um, check this stuff out. Well, this piece right here, this is just one. Check out, it's got a little, you know, the JPEG artifacts added to them. If you can look through that, you know, look through it. But check out the piece here, how it comes up. This piece comes up here. It's almost like it's matching on both sides. It comes up and over here, comes up and over here. It just looks like devastation happened. Whatever happened took it out. Uh, the blocks that were there were all smashed up. These were probably all perfectly, just like how these, a lot of these have perfect cuts on them, what look like perfect cuts. Look at that, 90 degree angles, 90 degree angles. A lot of this stuff was most likely just uh, put up on the wall there. I mean, we're talking, there are some very interesting pieces. Check, and check this one out. What's interesting is when you get down into it, look over here. Look at the, there's a box, whatever was right here, NASA didn't want us to see. Um, I'm interested to see what the PDS looks like, but when you get down into this stuff, look at it. It's almost like it was machinery. See, I don't. We might not just be looking at block. We could be looking at, you know, whatever type of civilization it was. This could have been type two, type three civilizations. Who knows? This could have been part of the outpost. Um, maybe this is where some of us came from. Very interesting. The architecture that we find here. We can say architecture now, if you go through my channel. Um, if you go through just the body of work that everybody at UFA has done, everybody else out there just just working on things, uh, matching high-rise images, satellite images, down to these images. Neville Thompson for all his work with the Gigapans. I mean, you can go out there and there's just researcher after researcher after researcher who's done this and uh, put it together. I mean, look at these curves you're getting in some of this stuff. Like I said, as it looks like it's been busted open, see how it looks like this piece has just, you know, been opened up whether this was part of concrete or something i mean i'm not sure it looks tech no it looks tech like it looks like tech to me and here's where you turn that i always call it butterscotch puke but uncle jake over at uncle jake's junkyard that's what we call it listen my buddy terry from pair good old perry named it uncle jake's junkyard he's got a little something for everybody i mean look at this perfectly perfect dimensions on that box doesn't get better than that i mean you're really what else can you say? And this this is just one little chunk of this picture. I mean, we're talking, there's a whole, this whole ledge. I mean, basically, there's four or five of these in a row. I should have had the whole thing up. You can see them from the top. You can see them from the bottom. And inside of them look to have collapsed walls. See, we're, we can only see with the rover looking straight in. Um, if you go to Where's Curiosity now, you can get it. And you can see that these look down into it. Um, Look at the stuff that's just falling off the wall. And if you see some of these, doesn't it remind you of uh, 
Let's look at this coming out from it here. What looks like pipes. Let me pull that up real close. Because I know some of you guys are looking at from cell phones. i got to keep reminding myself that I'm on a 4K monitor here. Look at pipes look like they're just coming out of it. As the sides worn away during whatever happened on Mars, the cataclysms, whatever shook this thing and cracked up all these blocks. I mean, this is not normal strata. You can find this stuff on Earth. You're not going to find it like this. You're not going to find it where half of it, the fascia is coming down. This is... Absolutely amazing. To me, it is a really good one, just a good example. The next couple of videos I have are going to show why the actual rover went into safe mode and what it did, why it was in safe mode, and it was uh, pretty much scoping the place out because they knew what was coming up, and it's pretty hard to hide it now. Um, like I said, most, most people can see that we've got what looks to be piping and stuff coming out of these pieces. Let me look. Look at that. You should be able to see that on your computer, on your, you know, your iPhones, your Android, your tablets. You should be able to see that this has got shape to it. It's beveled, you know, and, and this could have been wedged in the stuff. Just imagine the stuff just piling on whatever happened, as whatever smashed the planet and caused the tsunamis and caused everything else. As this stuff sloshed around, and this is where it ended up. Um pretty amazing so i'm sure i missed a whole bunch of stuff i moved it around a lot i want you to go ahead and download this one go to the website i'm going to put up a uh i'm going to put up as always an article that goes along with it it'll be up there in a couple of days I mean, look at this piece back here i mean you've got perfect cuts and and then you've got the chance like all the obfuscation it looks like it's been done on this one check out this here goes up it's got an angle here matches comes to a, a straight here just as it does right here with the same angle almost and then come straight back down you could cut this in half and fold it in on each other same here at least from what we can tell it comes up hits it and comes down a little piece stuck up behind it here you've got little pieces stuck up behind it like, like my buddy terry says uncle jake's junkyard ah good times on mars guys this is uh if we can get past this and keep on, the more we move up and move up and move up this uh, mountain, we're going to find more and more stuff. Especially as we go up the mountain, there's going to be a lot more stuff like this that's just going to be blatant. Um, there was a piece up here that I know somebody's going to see and say, I totally missed that thing that looked like a skull. <laughs> I, I try and stay away from skulls and stuff here. I don't see it right now. I should have marked it down before I started the video. But it's been a while since I did a video. I wanted to do one quick one before I got into the next one because the next one's going to require a little bit of thinking. It's, it's got a lot of, uh, an awful lot of slides on it. It's a lot of pictures. But it's going to show how, you know, how they actually think of us when it comes to finding interesting stuff and then all of a sudden just claiming something goes into safe mode. So definitely stick around for the next one. I'm sure somebody saw that. Look at that. Here's another one of those. You look at that same block. If you take that block right here and you stick it up with these, these two up here, it's that same exact shape. I don't know. They like said they could just be falling off, of the, falling off of the side like that, right? This just looks like if I was to have brought you somewhere and said, hey, you know, I went out to the middle of Egypt. We were out there. We came upon you know, this this hill and I always found all these interesting things look at these symbols look at these shapes you know I think most of you guys would think oh yeah cool you guys found that in uh, Egypt or you found it in uh, Peru or you found it somewhere down south I mean, look at this stuff this uh follow that line right there I mean that's not natural you can see the shadow under I mean this is not natural this this stuff could be metal this could be rebar who knows what it is it's been First off, you're battling with the, the colors that they give us. Um, so, all right, guys. Much love to you. I don't even know which one to make the <laughs> make the thumbnail of, but you can look under. You can see the stuff everywhere. As always, much love to you. It's been a while. Check out the next one as well. i got a good one coming for you. All right. Peace.